Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the Disney Chippendale Rescue Rangers Disney Afternoon collectible action figure, Chip from Funko. As I said, today we're taking a look at the Disney Afternoon Disney Chippendales Rescue Rangers Chip collectible action figure from Funko. Uh, as you know, we've already taken a look at Scrooge McDuck and Baloo the Bear from Disney's Tailspin and DuckTales. Apologize for that, guys. And today we're having a look at Chip. Uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers starred, of course, Chip and Dale. Uh, and their little fly pal zipper along with a couple others. I think at one time there was a crossover between Chippendale Rescue Rangers and Tailspin. I could be wrong, uh, but I don't think they ever crossed over with any of the other Disney Afternoon shows. Uh, Chip, obviously, was designed to look similar to Indiana Jones, while Dale, on the other hand, was designed more to look like Magnum P.I. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Uh, as you can see, I got this on clearance from GameStop. Uh, it was 50% off, so it ended up being like six something. Um, and something I discovered was it was partially open. The uh, glue didn't really hold that well. Uh, but they had Blue the Bear, they had Chip, and they had Dale. Uh, so I went ahead and got all three. We'll be taking a look at Dale here pretty soon. Chip made his first appearance in Private Pluto in 1943. Uh, that was the prototype appearance of him. Uh, his first official appearance was in Chip and Dale from 1947, created by Bill Justice. He was originally voiced by Jimmy McDonald. Uh, from 1947 to 1960, Helen Silbert in 1956, and Trey McNeil from 1988 to present. So Trey McNeil is the one who voiced him in Chippendale Rescue Rangers. According to the Wikipedia page, in 1989, Chip and Dale became the title characters in a new animated television series, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, in which they formed a detective agency with new characters created for the show. Female mouse inventor Gadget Hackwrench, or muscular adventuring Australian mouse Monterey Jack, and Zipper the Fly. While in the original shorts, the duo are frequent troublemakers who are concerned only with themselves. In Rescue Rangers, they are crime fighters who help the less fortunate. In this series, the personality differences between the two are more pronounced, with Chip as the responsible, no-nonsense leader and Dale as the goofy, laid-back free spirit. Additionally, they wear clothes in the series which reflect their personalities. Chip wears a leather jacket and fedora much like Indiana Jones, while Dale wears a Hawaiian shirt much like Magnum P.I. Also, Corey Burton gave Dale a slightly raspier voice not heard in any incarnations before. As you can see here, he is wearing his trademark fedora with his leather jacket with the uh, fur around the collar, his white tail, and I have to say the paint on this figure is a lot better than Baloo the Bears. Very, very nice. And light when lighting him for display I really like how the shadow or how the uh, fedora casts the shadow over his eyes really gives him that Indiana Jones look uh, his head is on a ball joint and go up and down not too much rock inside to side but it can turn all the way around uh, his arms can go up all, all the way around. Uh, his elbow, similar to Blue the Bear and Scrooge McDuck, bends once. Uh, it can't go any straighter than that. 
can't go any further bent than that. His waist, he does have a waist swivel. It's been all the way around. Uh, his jacket doesn't really get in the way that much. It's kind of a softer plastic. Not too, not too terribly soft, but it doesn't hinder his movement at all. And his legs can spin all the way around. Uh, just like with Baloo and Uncle Scrooge, if you try to put his legs straight up and down, he will fall backwards. So what I suggest, bring him forward about one notch. Just like that. And he will stand perfectly. Now let's go ahead and compare him with Scrooge McDuck and Baloo the Bear. As you can see, he is quite a bit shorter than both of them. As we saw before, Baloo the Bear is by far the tallest. Even, however, if he did not have his hat on, he would be just as tall as the top of Uncle Scrooge's hat. If Uncle Scrooge did not have his hat on, he would be just about as tall as Chip with his hat. These figures look very nice together. They'll go great in my collection. Really enjoyed finding these guys. I just gotta get Darkwing Duck and my set will be complete. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button so you don't miss out on future videos. Go ahead and hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications on all our videos. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Today we took a look at the Disney Afternoon Disney Chippendale Rescue Rangers Chip collectible action figure from Funko. Take care, my friends.